What's up everyone? My name is Alex Padilla, the young bartender. Today, we're gonna be making La Vida Buena. La Vida Buena was created by bartender Steve Olson, who loves and has a really deep knowledge of anything agave. And mezcal is an agave drink. It's a cousin of tequila. Um, tequila actually, is, I believe is technically a mezcal, but mezcal is technically not tequila. They're very related to each other. But let's get started, shall we? First up, what we're gonna do, the star of our show, is we're gonna do one and a half ounces of mezcal. The specs for this drink specify for Del Magüe Vida de, las, de San Luis Del Rio. And you can get this mezcal pretty much at every grocery store. And Trader Joe's, they sell this for about $32. And I'm gonna start from now on with videos to give you guys tips and hints of where to get these liquors and ingredients because a lot of the time it can be really hard finding some of these depending on where you live and i just want to give you guys um you know price be transparent with y'all and then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth you can find this pretty much at any grocery store i got this at albertson's for about mm, i want to say like 12 dollars so do three quarters of an ounce of that Ooh. And then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Aperol. They sell this pretty much at every grocery store, thanks to the popularity of Aperol Spritz. So you can usually find this near Prosecco. They usually go on sale with each other. So we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Aperol. And then we do three dashes of orange bitters. I'm using Reagan orange, Reagan's number six orange bitters. You can also use Angostura orange bitters. Those are really easy to come by. They sell them pretty much at every grocery store alongside just standard Angostura bitters. So I'm gonna do three dashes of that. And then we're gonna stir. We're gonna stir for about eh, 20 seconds. Okay. Now that we got it stirred, we're gonna get our chilled rocks glass out of the freezer. So we got our chilled rocks glass with our block of ice. And we're just going to strain and pour into our rocks glass. So we're gonna get an orange twist. We're gonna spritz the oil. Kind of put it around the glass. Just lay it there. And there we have it, everyone. La Vida Buena. Let's give it a sip. So right away you get the those notes of orange with the Aperol and the orange bitters and then you get those um, the what is what's the word the stuff they fortify wine with for vermouth uh, like the herbs you get that and then it has a really nice smoky aftertaste thanks to the mezcal it's a really There's like notes of vanilla, interesting, that go really well with the orange. It's a really pleasant drink. Ah, well there we have it everyone, La Vida Buena. Thanks for watching, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, make sure to hit subscribe, and then hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I post a brand new video. 
Well, stay safe, everyone. See you in the next one.